welcome to Monroe TV. My name is Jackie and I'm going to talk about the application of mortality in our calculations. If claims are paid out on an instalment basis, then each year the claimant would be able to go to the relevant party and say, Hi, I'm still alive. Please will you compensate me for this year's loss. When the claimant stops going to the relevant party, then they'd know, unfortunately, they'd passed away and their obligation to continue paying will cease. However, as claims are paid out as a lump sum instead of on an installment basis, it is important for us to include the claimant's mortality in the calculation. We need to take into account the probability of the claimant being alive each year and hence alive to suffer a loss in that year. Damages calculations, including RAF, maintenance and medical negligence claims, are based on the 1984-86 South African Life Tables. From the life tables, we calculate the probability of the claimant being alive each year, as well as their future life expectancy. The life tables range from one to six, where the specific use of a life table is based on the claimant's income. Different life tables are applicable to different income brackets. Individuals with higher income will generally have better access to good medical care and health and lifestyle education, which means that we can expect them to generally live longer. Life Table 1 applies to claimants with income greater than 950,000 Rand per year and has the lightest mortality out of all of the tables, which means that the life expectancy is the longest and the probability of surviving each year is the highest. Life Table 6 applies to claimants with income less than 100,000 Rand per year and has the heaviest mortality, which means that the life expectancy is the shortest and the probability of surviving each year is the lowest. All else being equal, a calculation using Life Table 1 will produce a higher claim than a calculation using Life Table 6. The life expectancy of a claimant can be seen as the average age that they will live to based on their current age now. These are readily available in the quantum yearbooks. There is a 50% probability that the claimant will live beyond this age, and as such, we do not stop the calculation at the age of the claimant's life expectancy. We cover reduced life expectancy and the implications thereof in a later episode. I trust that you found this helpful. Until next time.